Hi guys, I'm Julius, and today I'll be teaching you this super quick hack regarding how you can do some really quick, smooth letter animation in Adobe After Effects. So I am here in my After Effects, where I've just prepared a composition here. I've prepared a background, and I've prepared two words, hate and love. And what I want to do here is transition from the H to the L, from the A to the O, from the T to the B, and we will just leave the E. The first step is to center both of the words. So I'm going to come into a line here. I just center them to the composition. If you can't see a line, you can click up into window and just click on a line. I'm going to do the same for this other word here, love, and just align it like so. What I'm going to do then is come down into our text down here, right click them, click create, shape from text. And we're going to do that for both of them. Create, shape from text, like so. And we can actually delete our text now. Then what I'm going to do in here is come into the one which I want to transition from, in this case, hate. I'm going to open up the contents here. Just select all of these, open them up, and then go into each letter here. You will see there's something called path. And the path is basically what we want to animate here. So let's figure out where we want to start the animation. Let's start it after one second. I'm going to enable keyframes on path here on all the letters. A has two paths because it has the path around and the path inside the hole in the A. Then I'm going to go to where I want my animation to end. This one is going to be half a second long or 15 frames. I'm going to copy the path here from the ones which we want to transition into. So the V is going to be transitioned from the T here. So now we the V is transitioning or the T is transitioning into a V. And the O here, that is two. We're going to copy both here. And we're going to select both paths on the A here and just copy paste them. So now the A turns into the O. And lastly, we are going to take the path here from the L. And we are going to put it on the path for our H. And actually here, I made a small mistake. We don't actually need to animate the E. And now just so you can see the effect how it is right now, you can just delete the other layer. So now we got this thing going on here and that is nice and all, but I think we can do it a little bit better here. So currently it is 15 frames long. I actually just want to make it 16 here. That will be a little bit easier for what I'm going to do next. So just move them one frame to the right here. So the animation is 16 frames long. I'm going to select all my keyframes here and I'm going to press F9. This will basically just ease, ease them so it will ramp up the speed. But what I'm going to do now here is come into the graph editor. And I'm actually going to play around with the path a little bit for all of them. So I'm just going to drag these here. Try to make them as similar as possible, something like this. And what this will basically do is just create a more smooth animation. Well, it will, I'm not sure if it would be more smooth, but I think it would look better once it is done. But of course, this all depends on the type of video or effect that you need to create or that you need for your video. But I like doing it this way here where you play around with the graph. All right, let's see how this looks. And I think that's super smooth. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, then please like this video and drop a comment down below, letting me know which type of tutorial or video you would like to see next. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel. But anyways, guys, take care.